us a welcome. And the time of year has, has come. I'm heading off to Fortin's Hall. Obviously with the, the coronavirus, things have been different. I was meant to go like a month earlier. Well, but the campsite wasn't allowed to open, so luckily I was meant, um, when they could open, I was allowed to rebook it. So I'm heading off because, you know, can't waste the money. So I might as well go and enjoy myself. And by now you would have seen the, the gear, the short gear video. What I made. Obviously I've got the tent. I've got so much stuff on me. I had to put the extra dry bag on. And the reason is because like the, the campsite shop's not going to be open. I just want to make sure I've got all the kit. Yes, and I'm sitting at Trent Lock. The place where many adventures start. And it is raining. It may rain most of the day, but I should be okay. I might have to get my rain trousers out. Well, it means, means I need to dig out my trouser clips. And as I came out so early in the morning, I'm gonna think I'm gonna look on my phone, see if I can take a longer route. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Well, I'm just near Sorley Marina, stopped for a bite to eat. It started raining a lot harder again. I haven't got my rain trousers on yet though. But it's still quite hot. Yeah, riding a bike with this much weight on it, it's quite tiring. So as normal on rides, I'll be stopping for a break, for breaks. I've only got this much weight because it's kind of a, you know, a bit of a more luxury camping experience. And, um, yeah, I'm going a different route. I've got like hours, hours to, you know, till I need to sort of get to the campsite. So I'm doing a different route. I'm going to show a few things, mainly so I can look back on them in the future. Now, when I'm in. I um, think my original Thornton's Holt video, I had some Amer American idiot, well, not like the Green Day song, and some American dumbass was kind of criticising me, but it, I, I, I don't even know what his point was, what, I hadn't gone very far or something. Well, it's a holiday off of work, I mean, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you go to work, or some people might now, they may now be out of work. But you probably go on holidays, you know. Some people like going abroad, even though it's not, you know, not exactly the same now. A lot, a lot of things have changed. I know people that love going to Ibiza. Some people just like going to Wales. 
you know, everyone's got their own idea of a holiday. I'm a person who lives on my own. I'm on a low budget. I've got no car. And I just like, like a few days, you know, chilling out time. You know, without having the worries of what you get when you're wild camping. So that's the reason I'm paid to go to the campsite. You know, it is a little expensive. And some people say, why pay that much just to lay on the lay on the ground? Well, it's my choice. You know, I can say to people like going abroad, why pay all that money to go somewhere? And I can hear a car coming up in this little driveway. No, it's a van actually. But you can't come around this way, so I'm going to get off up there. I've got to ride up a, stre a stretch of road that might be busy. So I'll catch you later. Very colourful. I've got to take some photos. I came through here with Ian once on a day ride, so think of it as a little revisit. A lot slower though, and a lot more rain, because it, it wasn't raining. So we're going up here and then we're going to check the map. And I hope my tent's staying dry. Because I thought it would be alright like not in a dry bag but... But it should be alright. I think it will dry out from the heat. Well I'm still on a cycle path near the main roads. There's a railway line over there. I can see a stop sign. There's like an old, it's like a buffer thing. So there must be, obviously it's an end of a line. See the power station over there. A danger keeper operating railway. Well, I'll have to look, look up what line it is or maybe it's some kind of a branch line, but I can see, I know where I think this goes. I just, it just came into my head. And anyone can look this up on Google Maps. That's why it looks near. Near the East Midlands Airport there's been a massive a massive freight terminal built and that I'm not even sure if it's finished yet, but that is where that line that is where that line what goes over the bridge goes, I think, to the freight terminal. That's why it looks new. And we're going to check the map and carry on. Right, there's a close up of the, of the bridge. There's one of the blue signs. I'm not sure if I've got to go down there, so I'll look at the map and see what happens. What lovely weather! Oh well, it is what it is. So I'm just near the power station. I was actually just thinking about going and putting my tent up in these woods, but I can't really. I think I'm going to dig my energy drink out. 
literally everything has got wet. Well, obviously, my bags are kind of waterproof. My hands are so wet, I couldn't even unlock my phone. Because it does something to your fingertips. Yeah, I think I've got a, a, enough big uphill for a while. So I'm going to just relax a while, have my energy drink. It seems to have stopped raining for now, but it's still very wet. Right, well I'm at home Pierpont, I decided to ride round the lake, it's kind of like a tradition. And the weather is just bad. It's, it's stopped rain, it might rain again. I'm glad I got a decent tent where I'll stand up to it easily. And if you want now, I was going to say, if you wonder why I picked this time, well, it just, you can't really do it about it. You, with the weather, you get what you get. I booked the, the date a while back. And it just happens to be bad weather. Kind of just have to put up with it. I've got all the gear I need. And I can't really go to the camp till like one o'clock, so I'm gonna have to hang about here. So 
So I'm probably going to go right up that other end and sit on a bench and have a sandwich. I mean, I do like going through the nature reserve, but I'm not sure if I can get the loaded bike through the gate. I might, I don't know. I can't remember if I did last time or not. I mean, look at that weather. You can probably hear the wind. Anyway, another, another point to make about the campsite. Obviously, campsites were shut down for some time. So, you know, people may have been desperate for a holiday. So, it was kind of said to a lot of people, because they can't go abroad and stuff, they go camping. And normally when I go to the campsite, there's literally nobody there just the odd person and there's people that live there all the time and that's how the camps that kind of make a bit of money offer their kind of rent so as normal we don't really know what we're gonna, what's going to happen when we get there it could be deserted or it could be there could be more people there but as far as i know from the like pdf on the website the guidelines for dealing with covid19 what they're, they're spacing people out so they're not going to put like people next to each other but i've got a feeling it'll be kind of deserted again and also i'm not sure if a carvery will be open if not i've got some food but the carvery turkey and chips sounds nice and anyway, I'm gonna get up there and have a rest well, so I stopped in my bench lovely surroundings still windy I thought there was a well there's a food wagon up there but it's shut there is like a restaurant in that building but I know it's I'm not gonna bother with that at the moment. I'm gonna get my phone out. Get my sandwich out. And sit down and eat the sandwich. And I've got chicken and brown sauce. I've given up with a cheese and brown sauce. What I had like last year. Let's sit down. I'm certainly liking the Brook saddle. And if you're thinking why I'm not on my Trek 520, well, because I wanted to come on the ridge back. Simple as that. I'm going to enjoy my sandwich and bring you back later. I'm probably going to sit here until gone one o'clock, then head to the campsite. When I get there, I've got to stop in front of the gate. I've got a number which is already in my phone. I've got a ring to let them know I'm there. And this is for everybody, cut people in cars as well. This is on their guidelines. So they'll come out and give me like my welcome pack and whatever and hopefully they put me in the same spot as last year which is under the trees so um hopefully if it go oh, if i ever think it gets dangerous being under the trees if a wind gets up they'll probably let me move Anyway, I'm going to join my sign. 
Right, so here we are, we're at the gateway. The sun came out for a while. Then it started raining for a while. So we've got to roll up to near the near kind of where the buildings are, but apparently not allowed to go go like into the area. I mean I've been I was hoping I could see the progress on the, like the kind of rebuilding of the old toilets. But I don't know whether I'll be able to see that. And as I already said the shop is shut, well not open. So I'm going to go up there and I may, I may just put the, get the tent put up and not do any, may not film putting it up, we'll see what happens. So I've got my welcome pack there and I'm at number 15, last year I was at 14. And I'm not close to anybody, there's a few, there's a few people around. So we'll get set up. You know, as there's people around, I'm just going to set the tent up. Right, so I've got the tent up. It, well, I hadn't put, put this tent up for ages and it seems okay. This pole's like a bit skew with. It's like straight on this side but different on the other side. And can't seem to work out why but it'll do. Anyway, I'm going to get like gear into the tent what I don't want to leave out. And get like my phone and keys and stuff and then go to go to the toilet and then think about going on a walk. Nice tent. I'm hoping it rains again but I just don't know. Well I'm still bringing the gear in and I'm gonna check the weather this tent's got like a little thing you can undo of this tent's probably better for maybe hiking it's very popular i mean it's quite heavy for taking on the bike i only brought it to kind of make the video a bit different you know it's yeah something a bit different because I, it, it, there's pretty much no chance I'd use it on a longer trip. Maybe if I had a, you know, a, a partner with me was kind of sharing the, the gear load out, then it would be different. But anyway, I'm going to get finished finishing off. Yeah, I'm just crouching down behind my tent out of sight. Yeah, I'm, I'm nearly got all the bags off of the bike. I'm going to put my U-lock and... Well, I've actually got another lock on. I'm basically going to block it up. And just put it down the side of the tent. Yeah, this video, if you've seen the previous two Fort and Holt videos, this one may end up being different, which could be a good thing. Obviously the situations are different. You know, nothing is normal anymore. Right. <clears throat> Kids everywhere. That's a new kind of calf reception building changed a lot since last time of the of the fence they are not meant to go in there
suppose I can go for a walk around before I go for my longer walk. Right, I've got the GoPro on charge. I'm feeling a bit cramped in this tent because I'm in the doorway. I'm going to put the, the water on for a cup of tea and I've got real milk and real tea bags and sugar which is nice. Then I think about going for a, a longer walk. It's windy so I'm keeping it shielded and I just put the top on a bit just at an angle Now it's just about getting ready to boil so it's nearly a cup of tea time That'll do it Oh dear, I boiled too much water. It's lucky what it's like unlimited out the tap. Now I'm gonna dry my tea and go for a walk somewhere. So last year I had a plan of walking to Cockgrave but for some reason I didn't do that and I went up to the country park but so I think I'm going to walk through the country park, try and go into Cockgrave and get some chips. I'm going to take the GoPro with me because in case there's anything interesting. Obviously I've got my my alcoholic drink and my raincoat in a little bag in case I need them because it's still bloody hot and there's still a chance it could rain. So I'm gonna get get ready to go. I'm walking along what used to be the Cockgrave Colliery branch line. Me and Ian have rode along it many times now. It's really grown up compared to what it used to be. And there's, a bun there's an abundance of different plants up here. Flowers and the usual weeds. Someone come in behind me. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure Ian seems to be identified as about everything. Just crossing a bridge over the Grantham Canal. So I'm following some on pocket earth to try and take a shot cut into Cockgrave I think I want to go down this trail It really is nice there I'm going to try and do a a bivy here sometime The sky's looking bad, look I brought my raincoat. I 
You see how lovely this kind of wood, woodland there, even though the trees are fairly young. See they're 20, 20, 30 years. Nice kind of pond, I mean, just look at, you know, I mean, this is a really nice country park. Loads of places you could bivy. I went slightly the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. It's all kind of looking around. Well, I brought the other camera with me. I've only been using the GoPro so far. It's raining again. I hope the tent's like good and waterproof. And I did put the bike cover over the bike. This is a bloody lovely country park. I mean, Ian's only sort of been along the Grantham Canal path. Which is nice, but where I've walked the day is bloody amazing. It's actually nice a bit of walk. God, it's, I'm glad I bought the raincoat. And I got my waterproof hat on. And uh, Ian, oh, I just want to show Ian. Well, this really is just coke. I mean, he knows that it's just, just coke. Yeah, he's in a bottle. Right, I've got to wait. Oh, it's really like absolute hell. There's some, some women with dogs coming. I mean, oh my god. I hope the tent and the bike are alright. I mean, I'm glad I brought the raincoat because last year. I went for a walk. I didn't take the raincoat. I only just got back in time. Flipping lovely this is. It's like AMSR natural. Right, I'm gonna put the camera away. It's lucky it doesn't matter if it gets wet. He's absolutely hammering it down. I mean, I can dry the trousers out. If the trousers get wet, then... You know, I'll have to try and dry them out somewhere. I've got a pair of shorts, what? Anyway, I best get under a tree or something. Not that it makes much difference. Bring you back later. I just come out of the country park. It's fucking hammering it down. I mean, this ain't the best raincoat in the world. This is better than nothing. I could do with getting a better one. Hopefully something from Outkit, because I happen to like the brand Outkit. And just between you and me, I wouldn't mind being an Outkit ambassador. I'm kind of guessing where I'm going, so... Because I don't want to get the phone back out in this rain. It's in my pocket, obviously. Well, I had to turn the camera back on. The sun is coming out. The rain is slowing down, thankfully. I can see a flipping double flipping rainbow over there. See both ends well. And there's, there's a lower one and a flipping high one up higher one anyway my trousers are flipping wet 
not going to be able to sleep in them if they're still wet. And I'm planning to go for a shower anyway. So, I mean, I've got my softy trousers if I want to sleep in them. I'm going to get my phone out now, it's the rain stopped. Well, I've just been to Cutgrave Chiffy. The sun is back out, but the massive clouds up there. I'm going to try and find a quicker route back to the country path. I'll probably end up going the way I came and I'll go a different route. I'm walking through the woods, heading back to kind of the Grantham Canal side of the park. Flipping lovely walking through here. Eh? I'm walking back to the campsite along the Grantham Canal. Gonna go back through the country park and onto the onto the trail. And you should recognise this place as it's been on many videos. It was, we showed it on the last Lincolnshire tour video. Wow, it's a lot clear. It's really clear today. Shame you probably won't see it on the GoPro. It could be six foot to the flipping bottom from the waterline, maybe even more. And I can see some fish down there. Not not many though, but. Sometimes you're gonna see absolutely hundreds, thousands, hundreds of them. Oh, I can see that's strange. Somebody's opened the, this lock gate's just slightly open. Well, I don't, I'm not sure if it should be. I could love no, that. I'm sure that never used to be like that. I think so. I don't know. Unless someone's broken a chain of it. That means a lot of the fish may have come out. And be out here. Yeah, I can see fish in there. And, and there's rubbish in there and stuff. Anyway, I'm heading back to the campsite. Then it's shower time. Right, we're back at the tent. Yeah, it looks like it's been pretty wet. The bike cover's holding water. Proves how waterproof it is. I'm going to get in and get ready to have a shower. Well, it looks nice and dry in here, which is good. Brilliant. Well, I've been, I went for a shower. Unfortunately, I just put my kind of slightly damp clothes back on. But now I've got my air mattress blown up. I'm a sleeping bag and pillow ready. 
I'm gonna have to put the probably put the softy trousers on the sleeping and that. Take these wet one damp ones off. It's still windy. Yeah, I'm not sure if it'll it might rain again, but it's not on the weather forecast thing. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I've got my, kin my Kindles in one of my panniers, I think. Sure, I hope it has. I've got some films on there. So I can watch a film before bed. And last year, it just shows how good Kindles are, even though it's only a cheap one. I mean, I brought it before last year, and it's still like new. And I easily got enough power out of it off one charge. So you could definitely get enough power to watch a couple of films. I'm getting some flies in it. But oh, I've got the door open. It is movie time. Time to relax. I can't see, I, I don't want to get done for copyright, so. Can't see it too much. I've got my softy trousers on. Because it feels a little bit cold. Oh. If you can see me. It's early in the morning. We're in a pretty good night. I still feel pretty tired though, so... I'm gonna just... turn the watch on and see what time it is. Oh, it's far too early to get up. So I'll get back in, in the sleeping bag for a while. Right. It's still very cloudy. It's still in a wind, even though it doesn't look that windy as it was yesterday. I notice over there, there's another little tent, which I'm sure it wasn't there yesterday. It must have, whoever it is, it must have got here late. I might walk around there because I can and go around to the toilets. Seems like nobody else is up. I didn't really want to get up this early. Just the way it is. Kind of, kind of a shame I'm not allowed to go where the little garden is. I kind of like looking in there, but I 
God, this, bu this building last last year was so different. It, it was literally still the original brick structure. And they were, the builders were doing something to the roof. It looks kind of cool in there. Yeah, I like going up and seeing the chickens, but not allowed. They've got some people in the Aversville field. I mean, I'll, I'll just have a quick look through the gate. I was just all private over there. Anyway, going back to the toilets. I'm heading back to the tent. And I'll probably lay down for a while. <clears throat> then I've got to sort my stuff out, get breakfast. I probably won't film much today. But I am going for a for a hope should be going for a bike ride. Right, so hello, welcome back and it is two minutes past six, so I've had a pretty active day. Ian actually drove up in his car and parked outside the camping site and we've been off on a nearly 40 mile bike ride. There'll be some photos on Instagram by the time this video is uploaded and people who are genuine cyclists We'll better see him on Strava. And I will remove people off, off Strava I, who have happened to have like zero miles because anyway, I'm just cooking these noodles. I have a can of coke and I'm going off for my last shower. Then I think I'm just going to chill out, watch a film. And get ready to go to bed. So I'll catch you later. Well, I'm still... sat eating the noodles. Relaxing. One thing I really wish I had is a seat. And some people may think that you had a seat because I have got a video I made of it. 
Well, that seat actually broke. And I haven't got around to fixing it yet. Because I don't really know how. I'd probably need like a industrial sewing machine. Which I haven't obviously got, so... Anyway, I'm just going to say what I think of this tent. Because I know there's a lot of people that kind of got all fanboyish of this tent. I mean, it's okay. It didn't let any rain in yesterday. Which, which shows how, you know, good the outside is. But I found it, you know, it is a bit small inside for doing a great deal. I mean, anyway, I'll bring it back soon. Right. It definitely feels hotter today than it did yesterday. I felt kind of cold yesterday after that rain. So, I'm turning the Kindle on. And I'm gonna watch a film and then after that it'll be seen to be bedtime. Obviously I'm gonna finish my drink off which I swear is just coke and Ian does know he knows what it is just coke so I'll bring it back soon it might be in the morning but it'll be nice and early Right, so it's early in the morning. I eventually got some sleep. But time to get up. I'm going off to the toilet. Well, I'm gonna have a walk around the outside and go and start pack up.
Well, I wish I had a better camera. The sky is bringing up some real good colours over there. Now, I don't actually have to be off of sight until 12, I think it is, but I'm going to get packed up, make breakfast and go. <laughs> and I'm ready for that coffee. Right, the tent is packed up. The Van Gogh Banshee 200. I say it's been okay, but it's not my favourite tent. And I'm probably going to sell it somehow. Right, I'm going to just get the last of the gear put away and get the flipping water boiling. Right, it's time to leave the campsite. Been a good stay. Had some good, good little adventures. And the thing is, who knows if I'll better come back next year. Life's changing and, and I don't know what's going to happen yet, so. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. So let me know your thoughts and stuff and I'll catch you on whatever I manage to get done next. Because unfortunately the channel may have to close soon. Due to the lack of funding, because Sadly, I'm having financial, will be having financial problems but out of my control for the un unforeseeable future, so I may not be able to afford to have internet. And... Anyway, bye for now. I need to get riding.